This is what I have. I can't see it the best here because of the light. But it's my little uh, forklift motor. It's uh, actually not a tiny little thing, but it's a 36 nominal 36 volt um, three phase induction motor. Uh, there's my 12 volt uh, lithium battery pack. The um, inverter set up. I've got the, the motor connected. Uh, kind of got some long wires, but I'm just, just wanting to see it run. Um, on the back side of this one board or uh, aluminum plate is the main board and also the, the I guess the board for communication um, on that back side. And, um, and then I've got the uh, current sensors connected up here, but I don't have anything running through it. Um, and these were my uh, caps. These were the caps that were on it. These um, have a higher UF uh, rating. These are 450 volt at uh, uh, 1800 UF each. Um, these are positive negative type caps um, where these ones here that I have are not. Um, and these ones are the 220 UF each and I have two of them and they are uh, 800 or not 800 600 volt uh, so I went ahead and put those on he had a really junky pair of uh, bus bars that he used for his capacitors and they're kind of this copper looking color, but they're not copper at all. They're, they're nothing but steel, just real cheap quality steel. Um, they had this really funky setup that uh, I didn't like at all. And so I got some real uh, nickel plated uh, bars that I had for my Nissan Leaf battery pack. And then just put those across, bent them down a little bit, and then put a small um, wire from po positive, positive, negative, negative onto the main, onto the main bus bar that the IBGTs are connected to. Um, there are three snubbers on this thing. Um, as you can see, he's got them set up. So he's basically got a snubber on each one of these IGBTs, um, the driver boards, um, all that. So, um, and the uh, cooling plate, which I think was done extremely well. Um, so he has shown that this is that this works. Uh, sorry for all the bouncing around there, um, but I just wanted to give you just kind of show you a quick little video of how I have my caps hooked up. I actually probably have less less distance and less junk on mine than what he had on his. Um, I did like the way he set it up where they were on the plate and they were sideways versus these big honkers of mine, but yet it still only takes about the same space. Um, I just didn't have any uh, copper, flat copper to make, a, to make a nice proper bus bar for these caps. And, um, and so then I've got the uh, ribbon cables. I'm assuming that maybe these two, there's a, a brown and then there's a red, orange, purple, some other colors all wrapped up into one. I'm wondering if those are the 12 volt to uh, power thing here. And then he's, we've got a little uh, throttle pot on a little piece of paper there. And this plastic corrugated plastic cardboard. <laughs> um, so anyway, his intention was to have this board, the main piece underneath, and that sitting like that, then had his caps mounted to that, and I just decided to bring mine up just out of the way so everything's nice and tidy.
and um, it's, it's kind of odd because of the way he's got the uh, cooling things on the bottom of his cooling plate but that's what we have just kind of in the distance here um, I've got my computer sitting here I've got Linux on the computer I've got Windows on the computer and uh, so we just kind of lock some of these things into place here and uh, mailman's here so anyway that's what we have I'm gonna send you the video and uh, we'll go from there I gotta go get a uh, USB cable that plugs into the computer and then plugs into the into the communication port um, my USB cable is uh, USB to micro USB and not, not from uh, plug into one and then a, a female on one end and a male on the other end so I don't have one of those so I gotta go grab one and uh